Yo, we are back again with another video, and this trick is a killer. It really, really is, and it uses a normal pack of playing cards and one prediction card. Yes, it is a prediction card, so I'm not going to tell you anymore. Let's jump in to the performance. Okay, so like you can see, we've got Debbie to help us, and she doesn't know what's about to happen. We haven't set anything up. So, Debbie, what I want you to do is go ahead and take a card out, any card you wish. And I'm going to turn away, and I want you to sign the uh, base of the card nice and big, and then show the camera the playing card. So, the side with the numbers on it. Yes, that is correct. So, nice and big, and then when you've done that, let me know. And as well, I'm not looking, there's no setup whatsoever. It is just a normal, ordinary pack, guys. Have you done that? Mm -hmm. And show the camera. Can I turn around? Yeah, I'll turn around. And uh, place your card in. Brilliant. So you remember your card, correct? Yeah. So watch this. I'm give a quick shuffle. I think of it then. Like so. Do you want to shuffle? No, I'm rubbish at shuffling. No worries. Like a so before we started this, I actually made a prediction. And I didn't actually tell you this beforehand. But look, in my uh, pocket, hopefully you can see this, guys, I have a red back card. And you can see it's completely different colour. I want you to take the card. You don't know what this card is, obviously. Take the card. I want you to place it anywhere you want, where you think your card is. But keep hold of the red card. Is it there? Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. It's right there. Keep hold of it. So don't the top card or the bottom card. Mm, top card. This top card right here. Yeah. Would you be impressed if this was your card? Yeah. And no. But like I said, I made a prediction before we started. You've been holding the whole entire time. Turn it over. Oh, it's the nine of clubs, and that is the nine of clubs with the signature on there, and that, my friend. Is the trick okay? So we are trying a different angle of the camera, so hopefully you can see everything fine and you can see my point of view. So you can see everything I'm looking at. So what you need is a normal pack of playing cards, which is true, and one prediction card. This it can be any card your prediction, but this is gimmicked. Please don't let that put you off because I said it's a gimmick card. Can you see that it's a gimmick? Because I don't think you can. A little close, you might be able to see the gimmick, but you'd be able to make this within five seconds. So when I tell you what the gimmick is, don't be angry. It is double-sided tape. Oh my God, yes, it's double-sided tape. So if you use a court card, obviously the, the, the picture covers the, uh, the tape. So hopefully you can see the tape. And if you can, just place it in the center. That's all you need to do. And then when you've done that, when you peel the stickiness off, the, the, the white paper off. You just want to dab it and get rid of the really stickiness. Okay. So it's not as sticky. That will go in your pocket. So let's say this is my pocket. I think you already know now how this works. You're going to get a card selected. So let's just say they chose the Nana Clubs, which Debbie did. And you're going to control the card to the top of the deck. And there's loads of different ways of controlling the card. Hopefully you know how to control a card to the top, which that was just a pass. I'm not going to teach the pass. I'll go through a very easy uh, one right now. So the card gets placed into the pack. You're going to keep a break above it like so, and then you're going to just cut till you hit that break till the card comes to the top. So they choose a card. Please place your card in, which they will. You're going to keep that pinky break, and then you're just going to cut till you hit that break, Banana Clubs is here, done. It's that simple to get that card to the top. If you're a complete beginner, it might be hard. And don't worry, I am going to do a tutorial on loads of false cuts and shuffles. Because now, uh, when you control the card to the top, you give it a quick false shuffle. Like so. Or you could do this one, which looks, even, looks the same. And to do that, I'm just going to slide the top card and the bottom card off together, like so. And then shuffle everything on top. And again, I'm just going to take the top and bottom card off, which is the selected card and the bottom card, and shuffle everything on top. And if you do that at speed, that looks like you are legit shuffling the cards, which you are. You're just keeping the top card exactly where it is. 
So now you introduce your prediction card. You say, look, you can see the card is completely different to the pack. And when I say that, I place the double-sided card on to the deck. And then I spread to say, look, it's completely different. And what's happened now is actually added that card on top. I'm trying to show you if you can see the double uh, card. Hopefully you can. So you say, look, all the cards are completely different. This is a different colored back. You say, I want to take the card. And you're not going to look at it because it's a prediction. You say, I want you to hold it and place it where you think the card is, which they will. And you say, look, you stuck it between two cards. Would you want the top card or the bottom one? And I tell them to keep hold of that card all the time. And they'll say the top card. Okay, okay. so you stopped on the top card. Now, how impressive would this be? And you take all the attention back onto this card. They're just holding this card in their hands. They are not thinking anything about this card. They just think this is a stabber card. You say, was it the Ace of Hearts? Or, or you'll know it's not their card because it's not signed. And you say, what were your card? I think it was the Nine of Clubs. Turn it over. They'll turn it over and they'll see the Nine of Clubs. They were like, oh my God, that is crazy. Yes. And that is it. Um, yes, you're probably thinking, yes, yeah, you might know this is two cards stuck together. No, they don't. You, If you're a magician, yes. You, like Debbie has seen loads of tricks and she didn't think anything of it. Like she knows how to do it because I, I taught it, well, I didn't talk about it, I showed her the mechanics of it. And I went, Could you feel it? Like there were two cards there. She went, No, I just thought it was one card. And she even looked at the card and then she went like this. She went, Oh, right. And then she knew. But they were looking at it, Oh my God, that's crazy. And then you just put that card in your pocket and you're ready to do another trick let's say you want to perform it again or you want to perform it to somebody else so we did set up just put their selected card with a double-sided card on top and then just riffle up and just take that card off and place that back in your pocket and you could do the trick again so basically it's like an instant reset so you can just put the card in your pocket do the trick uh, obviously, place the card on. When you spread the card, you show them. Duh, 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 duh. I'm not going to go through it all again. But if when you when you want to reset it, that goes on top. Just peel that double sided tape or double sided card off. Double sided, double sided tape, tape. I don't know what I'm on about. But just peel it off, and then that goes in your pocket, and then you're ready to go. So that is the tutorial, guys. Of this pretty cool card trick. Okay, so that is another video in the bag. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, all you need is that one red card double-sided tape, put it in your pocket, and you've got a miracle, and technically it's an instant reset. So you can't get any stronger than that. Don't be scared as well if you do think, oh, what about if they can feel the cards two as one? They're not going to. That is your magician head thinking. Trust me, they will not do that. Because when you, for example, if you tell someone to pick a card, they're not going to be like, they're not going to be like that. They just think it's a normal, normal card, but a different color back. So if that is a worry, don't worry. Learn it, perform it to your friends, perform it to your family, and let's see if they do that. And if they do, comment down below and let me know and shout at me. Anyway, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.